I'm really excited to be able to bring you guys into one of our prototyping rooms. Uh, here in the factory, uh, we're constantly designing new technologies, new instruments, uh, and sometimes the elements of that research and that development and that technology that we're working on uh, begin to take us into new directions. And uh, what we're working on in this room uh, is one of those cases. Uh, Right now, we are currently working on uh, a concept project, a technology that we've sort of dubbed around the factory as LEV96. Uh, and at this point in time, we're calling it a concept project because we're not sure what direction we want to take this when we go into production. Uh, the forms that you're seeing it in today are you know, ways for us to flesh out that technology. Uh, we currently have a small group of beta testers, uh, a lot of them are very widely known musicians that we are building these concept project instruments for and sending out to them to get their feedback to see you know what they love about it what they weren't as excited about you know maybe what uh, things they expected to see from it and didn't and maybe some things that they didn't expect that came out to them and we'll use that you know in the same way that Bob did back in the 50s and 60s with his direct work with artists that allowed him to fold those opinions and that feedback into his designs in such a way uh, to give these instruments the, the staying power that they have today, you know, nearly 60 years later. The technology uh, that goes into LEV96 uh, is something we're really excited about. Um, essentially what we have is a, a sensory actuator uh, device. It can be affixed to anything that is ferromagnetic, anything that responds to magnetism. So in this case, uh, we have attached it to an acoustic guitar, uh, but in the future, it could really be attached to anything. Uh, anything that is magnetic, we can control the vibrations and the harmonic content present in that medium. Uh, so with the acoustic guitar, for instance, uh, the metal strings, we're able to use electromagnetism to control the vibrations of those strings and control the harmonics. If we want to accent a series of harmonics or de-emphasize another series, we can control that very accurately in this instrument. Uh, now, in addition to being able to control which harmonics are present and which are not present, uh, we can also cycle through those harmonics. We can arpeggiate through them. We can create modulations that move back and forth and, and give you uh, a wonderful, amazing, unique new sound that, you know, even outside of the original Moog guitar has, has never been heard before. 